All right. All right. All right, everyone. If I can just get your attention for a minute, the meetings are about to begin. That includes all of those here for N.A., A.A., S.A., S.K.A., and not to forget P.A. Rooms can be found down the hall to the left, upstairs at the end, and in the basement. As soon as you get settled, we'll get started. Hell no. Tina dumped me for her? Really? They're holding hands? No, this is not. What the fuck? Seriously? Okay, everybody, okay. Settle down here. Let's settle down. Good to see all you smiling faces. Okay, so make sure you're in the right place. This is the San Jonita room in the newly renovated, I might add, Brother Edward of and Oak Church. And we're combining AA and NA. You've got Davina H. Davina H. A parader. A parader. Give me the stadium. I don't know the fucking number. What do you mean, information? A parader. A parader! Oh, shit! No, no, Mom. No, I don't want you to come. It's too, too much traffic and, and trouble. Yeah, no, I'm very crowded and stuff. Daddy? Daddy, Daddy, is that you? Are you on the phone upstairs? <laughs> Oh, 
I miss you too. I miss both of you. Oh no, 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 I, I already told mama. No, you don't have to go, I don't want you to come. No, no, too much trouble. <clears throat> no. Everything's wonderful. Everything's wonderful. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm great. I'm great. No, 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 no. We're we're leaving after the concert. We're we're going to um <coughs> to New Orleans to New Orleans. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna try to make it back for Easter. Yeah. I'm I'm tired of the road. I'm I'm really tired. No, no, I'm tired. You, you know what? There's only one way to be able to make it. it I have to make up my mind that I'm gonna stop. Mm-hmm. I promise. Hey, um, say hi to, to, uh, to Car, um, Colin, G yeah, yeah, Carlene, and, and Margo, M Marge, from me, okay? I love you. Bye. Your smoke is getting in my window. Then go shut your ass in the window, you moron! Smoking sucks. What's going on, baby? Yeah. Just chilling. I think I need a new library card because I'm checking you out. Hello? Hey, baby. Just thinking about you. Yeah. If I told you you had a great body, would you hold that against me? Just sitting here, alone, thinking about what you're wearing. Guess who? I was thinking if you weren't doing something, just like... Hello? What do you mean, what am I doing with my voice? Hey, how's it going? I gotta tell you something. If a man came by with a fifth of whiskey, I'm afraid I'd go with him. I could get a lot of booze out of Wilbur. I've given up way too much. Mm. I know you said the first thing you noticed about me were my legs. Well, I guess I got lucky with my legs. <laughs> I know I'm crazy. But I've got nothing but time. I don't know. We're on some kind of hell. And the madhouse is the only place where people know. 
there and now. I don't know. I'm just a crazy beer drinker. <laughs> Before we go, I want to make myself look good. I'm Rose. I, well, I had a rough week. Some of you know, some of you don't. But I lost my Frances this week. She died of an overdose on Sunday. So I guess that means I'm in mourning. Although, actually, I realized I have been in mourning for years. Because even when she was here, she wasn't really there. You mourn for the living, and that's a hard way to live. So in a way, it's better, I guess. She was a dear, dear young woman. And I always felt as though I needed to stay strong, that there would be some future event, and I would need all my strength for it. But there are, there are no future events after this one. I hope she's not in pain now. Oh, my Francis. Everything's so outside our control. Chemical explosions in Elizabeth, New Jersey? Somebody killed Karen Silkwood. They're all these maniacs stalking Dolly Parton. The poor woman doesn't feel like singing anymore. John Hinckley? David Berkowitz? Ronald Reagan? It's so hard to maintain joie de vivre in the face of such universal discouragement. I need a mood elevator. I have this pharmacist friend. He gets me all sorts of things. I should be feeling cheerful in a few minutes. Can I get a refill? Thank you. Thanks for listening. Settle down. As they say on Broadway places, everyone, you're all here in the room, Peaceful Meadow for N.A. in beautiful downtown Northridge. Tabby J, you're up. When my dad died, I was 13, and my mom came to completely this completely different person. She seemed to have even more life. It's crazy. When you're a kid, you really don't understand that your parents had a life before you were born. Like you were just like, you know, like the center of their universe, you know what I mean? I mean, you are the center of their universe. But I didn't have a dad anymore. I felt like uh, I was going crazy. And I was like, where's my mom? Why isn't she here? And it was almost like he lost his life and she found it. And was making sure to suck out every last moment of joy from whatever he f left behind. And I blamed her. I blamed her for sucking the life out of him, and I blamed her for letting him beat the shit out of me, and I blamed her for turning her back on me, and then in the middle of a cocaine weekend, I found myself on my knees in a gas station bathroom sucking some stranger's cock for blow. I mean, I guess that's what they call a, a moment of clarity. He looked down at me and said, you don't 
You don't have to do this. Well, I got off the floor. He put his pants back on, gave me enough for a couple bumps, and he left quietly. I stood there in a row of sinks and mirrors. I'd, I, I, I'd like to say that it was the last time, but it wasn't. I can't trust myself. So I, I, I came here looking for trust, for faith in something other than myself. You tell me I have to trust God? Fuck God. God took my dad before I was even old enough to understand how important having a dad is. God is the one that put me in that room with my first rail. That's the one that let him touch me. I deserve better. You know, I, I deserve a God that cares and, and I deserve to be happy. And if this is Ella, stop calling me! It's Ella! I just saw the story in the newspaper that made me think of you. The headline was, I married my stalker. And it got me thinking, that could be me and you. But you keep calling the cops. Not that I'm upset about that or anything. Actually, I thought it was kind of funny. Me? Being arrested for stalking? Okay, I mean, I wouldn't call it stalking. It's more like investigating someone you're attracted to. Anyways, I thought it was kind of romantic. Like in Twilight, when Edward watched Bella sleep, we could be Edward and Bella. My point is, I need you, Brian, and I think you need me. Remember that time I made you breakfast in bed? Although I have to admit, you weren't very grateful. All I needed was a simple thank you, not, how did you get in my house? But I can forgive you for that. We all make mistakes. So, uh, call me when you get this. Bye. Love you. You have 42 messages. I could get serious about this girl. She's a lot of fun to be with. Between the two of us, for the last year, I've had a little, I won't say I was worried, you know, but still, a little trouble with myself getting home. <laughs> I mean, it took a long time. Girls today judge you quickly, so you know, I had a rough time a couple times. Some nasty innuendos. As I say, I, I wasn't too worried. I won't lie. I was worried. Then along comes Bobby. One look at that pair, and I knew I'd be okay. <laughs> and I was. I mean, with all our kidding... I have to admit, I had tears in my eyes.
Tina always liked her women hot and tan. You know? And I would do anything to get Tina back. Anything. I know you've heard it before. This time I mean it. Right? Tomorrow, I stop drinking. I know I said six months ago I'd change. I said it six months ago. Six days ago? Shit, six hours ago. Shit, I said it six hours ago. I meant it every time. This time I mean it. I mean it this time too. I'm so sorry. I can't do it by myself. For all the lies I've told you, Come on, baby, let's do some shots. <laughs> I'm celebrating. Star shining bright above. Are you gonna drink? Or are you gonna be a little girl? Huh? What? And you don't drink with me? <sighs> Thanks for all the support when I was trying to get sober. Huh? You don't give a fuck about me. Love is the easy part. It's the rest of the shit that's hard. I try hard and I get shit on. Fuck <laughs> the family. <gasps> Fired from my job. This marriage. There's nothing wrong with me. What's wrong with you? can't drink because I'm crazy <laughs> or something and I can't stay sober because of you still craving your kiss yeah, I'm longing you can't be sober down there sweet dreams dreaming till something's find you keep dreaming gotta keep dreaming what do you need the money for it's what I owe $100,000? How is that possible? I gambled and lost. You gambled and you lost. Is that all you have to say? $100,000? Are you so naive that you don't know what those monsters will do with the money that you give them? They will shoot it directly into the arms of 10-year-old school children. I see them at the clinic every day. Oh, my God, Axel. Are you going to help me or not? Axel, what will they do to you? Axel, I asked you a question. What will they do to you? For $10,000, they break your arms. 20, your legs. For 50, you get a whole new face. Axel, what will they do? I don't know. I don't know. Threaten me? Kill me? <clears throat> what the fuck room are we in? Excuse my fucking language. Multi-purpose room, I guess. 
Brady M. San Quentin newcomer. Hope your stay is a pleasant one. You got something to say? The floor is yours. I admitted I drank the bottles of vodka on the plane. I drank the vodka. On October 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th, I was intoxicated. I drank alcohol at all those days. I drank to excess. I was drunk. I said to Miss Block, I'm drunk right now. I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm drunk now because I'm an alcoholic. And that was it. I was done. It's as if I'd hit my lifelong limit for telling lies. I could not tell one more lie. Because if I would have told one more lie, I could have walked away from the whole mess, kept my wings, my false sense of pride, and most importantly, avoided being locked up with you nice folks for the last 13 months. It looks like I'll serve every remaining day of the four and a half years of my sentence. And that's fair. I betrayed the public trust. I did. The judge explained it to me. I betrayed the public trust. The FAA took away my license. And that's fair. The chances of me flying again are slim to none, and I accept that. I've had a lot of time to think about all of it. Doing a lot of writing. I've written letters to each of the families who lost loved ones on my flight. Some were able to hear my apology, and some never will. I've also apologized to all the people who tried to help me along the way, but I couldn't or wouldn't listen. Like my wife. My ex-wife. And my son. Again, some are able to forgive me. And some never will. but at least I'm sober and I'm grateful for that. This is gonna sound really stupid from a man in prison, but for the first time in my life, I'm free. And if this is Ella or Margaret, fuck off! It's Margaret. Hey, did you call the cops on me again? Because they came to my... Oh, well, anyway. Hey, did I see Ella coming out of your house? That would be really weird because I'm so much prettier and I'm so much more your type than her. I know you keep telling me that we're not right for each other, but I figured, what do you know? I mean, you love the breakfast in bed I made for you. You tried a little bit of it before you threw it at me. I know, you're Greek, right? Well, anyway, that wasn't very polite. I mean, you could have just said thank you instead of, how the hell did you get in my house? Anywho, I feel I'll be in your area later today, and I thought I might pop by. Hey, we could have a picnic. Call me. Love you. Bye. You have 115 messages. <laughs>
Jesus Christ, we're already an hour late for the party. I'll be right there. Yeah. Feel me? Yeah. Feel me? Yeah. Feel me? Whatever, I'm leaving without you. Peace! Feel me? Stop it! Shut the fuck up! I'm gonna kill them! Sometimes, I don't know, the things I do for Tina, you know, it just, it's just sort of ridiculous, but I do, you know, it's easy. All right, we have someone new joining us today, <clears throat> Gladys T. Welcome, we're very excited to have you here at Western Edition Baptist Church. This is our Lord and Savior's room. Yes, Gladys T. What do you mean that stuff is no good? 25 pounds I've lost already. No, I'm not a dope fiend. What am I, foaming in the mouth or something? He's a nice doctor. I almost fit into my red dress. You know, the one that I wore to your high school graduation. The one that your father liked so much. Oh, I still remember the way that he looked at me in that red dress. I'm gonna wear it on television. Oh my God, you don't know. I'm gonna be on television. Yes, they sent me, they sent me an application and no, 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 I'm telling you, I'm gonna be a contestant on television. No, I don't know when. They haven't told me when. But you know what? I'm gonna be so proud. When you see your mother come up in her, in her red dress and her golden shoes, you came up in a cab, right? Did you see who had the best seat? I am somebody now, Harry. Everybody likes me. And pretty soon, millions of people are going to see me and they're going to like me and I am going to tell them all about you and your father and how good he treated us. Remember? Oh my God. It's a reason to get up in the morning. It's a reason to lose weight. It's a, a reason to fit into the red dress. It's a reason to smile. It's, it makes tomorrow all right. What have I got, Harry? I mean, I wash the dishes, I make the bed, but like, why? I don't have to, but I do. I mean, why should I? I mean, I, I'm alone. Your father's gone. You're gone. I have no one to care for. What have I got, Harry? My friends don't need me. I'm lonely. I'm old. But now, now when I, when I look at the sun, I smile. John. Mm -hmm. Baby. John. Hey. What are you watching? Hmm? Really?
remember when we first started dating? What was the one thing I asked, hmm? I said, don't lie to me. You looked at 46 porno sites today, John. Just today. All you do is look at porno. Like, two girls, one cup? What is that? Huh? It's all here, in your history, in your browser. And don't tell me you don't know what history is, because of course you don't. Because if you did, you would have erased it, like a good little phony. <sighs> don't you ever call me baby, or say I love you, ever again, you understand me? What I want you to say is, I don't know, I'm sorry that I've been lying to you ever since we started dating, huh? How about that? Or, or how about, I'm sorry that I have more sex with this thing than I do with my girlfriend. <sighs> Acrobatic sex with flexi stepsy. You're full of shit. You're full of shit! And don't say we have sex all the fucking time. You understand me? <sighs> Multiple cream pies on a cougar, like, what is this? How do you watch that shit, huh? How, how can you watch these things? And don't you compare that to the movies I watch, okay? Porno and movies are two completely different things. They give awards for movies, hmm? And yes, yes, I know they give awards for porno too. But like, shut up, shut the fuck up. Tina, I fucking, I fucking love you. Come back to me, please. Please. All right, settle down. Take a seat. Robert K. Is there a Robert K here? Moving on, this is the SKA, SK, of course, for a serial killer. There's an idea of me, some kind of abstraction, but there's no real me, only an entity. I've got all the characteristics of a human being, flesh, blood, skin, hair, but not a single clear identifiable emotion, except greed and disgust. I feel lethal, on the verge of frenzy. I killed a lot of people. I had to, they tried to get away. One behind a parking lot, one with a chainsaw, an ax in the face. His body is dissolving in a bathtub in Hell's Kitchen. I have tapes of most of them. I showed some of them the tapes. And then I ate their brains. Well, some of their brains. But I'm not a chef. They probably would have tasted better if they were a little warm. I should have gone to cooking school. The Cordon Bleu. I hear they're good. Something horrible is happening inside of me. My pain is sharp and constant. And I do not hope for a better world for anyone. In fact, I want my pain to be inflicted on others. I want you to want to escape. I don't know why I'm telling you this at all. Admittedly, this is supposed to bring catharsis, but this confession has meant nothing. Honey, I'm home.
coming. This speech is my recital. I think it's very vital to rock around. That's right. On top. It's tricky. It's tight. Here we go. It's tricky to rock around. To rock around. That's right. On time. It's tricky. It's tricky. 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 It's tricky to rock around. To rock around. That's right. On time. It's tricky. 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 I met this little girly. Her hair was kind of curly. Went to her house and bust her out. I had to leave real early. Say is please me or spend some time and rock a rhyme. I said it's not that easy. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around. That's right, on time is tricky. 